So we were going to purchase the centerpieces and then we were going to rent the centerpieces. But in the end, it was just too costly for all the tables that we had. And we wanted centerpieces on every single table. I definitely wanted that. So we actually made our centerpieces. And I will show you some of the pictures from our centerpieces that we made. They actually came out really, really well. We were they really did. proud of our for putting together such beautiful pieces. Thank you, E6000. YouTube. You do it yes. yourself. Oh, right. and the Dollar Rise. Tree. I'm going to right. shout out to the Dollar to Tree. The Dollar Tree. Man, we tow up every Dollar Tree in Central Valley. Man, <laughs> put together our wedding, man. It we was did. dope, though. The experience was beautiful. Right. You know, and for every person out there that haven't experienced it, you should, you know, especially when you got that right person, you know what I mean? We worked as a team. We did. Watch, we we're going to show you some of that stuff. I'm going to show you the before and the after right. and the process going down. Yeah, it was really a great experience. So, with that being said, we had um, cylinders with floating candles. And, of oh. course, during the wedding, the candles were supposed to be lit in the cylinders. They were filled with water, they had all our pretty decorations in there, and we got to the wedding as far as the actual ceremony, and none of the floating candles were lit. The cylinders was there, all the floating candles was just floating, but they weren't lit. So out of all the coordinators, no one remembered to light the candles. So I'm just using that as an example of there's certain things that you know you want done. Make sure you designate someone to do it. If you have coordinators, make sure you designate one specific coordinator to do specific things. Exactly. Yeah. And that's and that's where those headsets come in. <laughs> in case somebody has to fill in a spot. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's important that you know uh, your day goes the way that you actually want it to go. Most people be sitting up here tripping off these brides and stuff like that, and they be having these bridezillas and stuff like that. But a person like me was so involved in my wedding, I was groomzilla. Cause, and look, not to be funny enough, my wife may get mad at me. She may even cut this part out. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Look, I blow. What? I blow. I was so involved in my wedding that I didn't even smoke. Well, good. Yeah, I'm so glad yeah. you did not. <laughs> yes, because I definitely needed him to be focused. And I was. Completely I, focused. I was completely focused. So I was able to notice a lot of things that I wanted done as well. I wanted my catering to be just a little bit more, you know what I mean? involved in the spirit of the people and the ceremony so when you get ready to pick people to do your food make sure that they have an upbeat and electric spirit that's you know um inviting inviting exactly right. and loving mm -hmm. because you don't want to yeah. eat people's food who have an attitude or who gets mad or you know what i mean and they're cooking at you exactly and now they're serving food to your folks you don't want your people eating stuff that I mean you don't want that Heals kind of energy it does. Yeah. So make sure you pick people who enjoy cooking but love people. Mm -hmm. And if they love the people then you know the food is gonna be good. Right. So with that said what what he's getting at is make sure you pick a very good caterer, yes. a very good catering yeah. company for your food because your food is super important in your wedding. And you want to make sure, like he said, that you are getting somebody who loves what they're doing and who want to give that positive energy off to your guests. Exactly. And not to mention, that's the bulk. That's the bulk of the wedding. Right. The, the food. You yeah. want You want. You want fabulous food, man. And, you know, you want people to serve it and be like, ooh, yeah, you know, I'm giving them that vibe. And then, you know, maybe they can sneak out back in the food truck and don't have to worry about it. 
So we have to worry about the catering or the coordinators or, you know, the entertainment was beautiful. My wedding was beautiful. It was. Yes, it definitely was. On a it scale was of one to beautiful. ten, mine was a ten plus. I, I really do. It was the first and last one. And um, everything was okay, but there's certain things that I wish had a, went a little different or we could change but with this anniversary coming up and stuff like that maybe we could reenact some of the things and then incorporate new things so we could have a beautiful anniversary plus birthday bash right exactly yeah, yeah. so another thing please remember remember to have everyone sign your guest book oh. Oh my gosh, we got home, I don't know, it was probably after our honeymoon, and I decided just to kind of browse through our uh, guest book, and we had about maybe 20 names in there. We had over 180 guests at our wedding, Wow! and only, only about 20 people signed the actual guest book. That's that coordinator. Yeah, so we don't know what happened. We don't know if once the guests start coming in, if people just started the... the the coordinator set the guests and didn't wave them on over to where the guest book was sitting. Uh, we don't know what happened, but it, 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 not even half the people at our wedding signed a guest book. So make sure somebody is designated to make sure all your guests sign your guest book if you have one. Oh, let me say this. Um, we had a dope DJ, but make sure you uh, make a list of the songs that you actually want to hear because sometimes there be songs where you know it reminds you of your girl or your spouse or whatever your but wife. But we did do that. Did we? We did make a list of all the songs that we wanted to did hear. We? Did, did now, we? now some of the songs um, other than what we put on the list may have been played but we did have Oh, uh, I don't even, I, I remember hearing the songs that we were coming out to and stuff like that, but when it got to be in like, oh, uh, during the, 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 the reception, reception. Yeah. yeah, during the reception. Yeah, you got to yeah. make sure you have a good DJ, make sure that she's on point or he's on point with everything. Um, I think what is important to know and this I wasn't so clear on because we haven't given many parties. But there's oh. a difference between a DJ and an MC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, you're right. Now, the DJ plays right. the music, but he or she is not the one to kind of get the party yeah, hype. Yeah, not the master not, of ceremony. Right. Yeah, so, there the is a big difference. Or like, like a host mm -hmm. or somebody. Somebody's like, you know, like when you go to a comedy show, you got somebody there that's going to entertain the guests until the next... Um, Act comes, comes on. Right. Yeah, so you need somebody who can MC, you know, keep the crowd hype, keep the crowd involved. Right. And in other words, you need that hype, man, so the party won't get dull and boring. Mm -hmm, exactly. So you want to make sure not that you just have a DJ, but you have an MC as well. They're the ones that's going to hold that mic and they're going to make sure that everything is being announced making sure that everything goes appropriately or accordingly to the way that you have your itinerary planned. Yeah. So, that's another thing. Um, anything else you can think of? Um, um, let me see. Let me see. Um, so, we mentioned the pictures, making sure that you uh, have someone designated or your photographer is designated to make sure that you get certain poses mm -hmm. with particular people. Make sure that um, the coordinators have the headsets on so you know you can make sure all the little intricate details are met because like T was saying we had all these beautiful floating candles right. that wasn't lit. We have these beautiful centerpieces that we spent hours on which I didn't mind anyway but we didn't we didn't get a chance to light them because we had lights around them and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So none of the lights, we did, none of the those lights were not turned good, on. You know, yes. And most importantly, you know, uh picking a person to serve your food. Right. And making to, sure you have you know, a good prepare caterer. Prepare your food. And making sure that your guest book gets signed. And your guest book uh, gets signed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And oh one other thing. This is another thing. 
Um, everybody doesn't feel the same way about this, and actually I've changed since the wedding. But one of the things that I did not like and that I would change is not leaving my guest so long while we went and took pictures. So we actually left our wedding and went to um, a designated spot where we took our pictures. And of course the guests were entertained by the DJ and um, the hors d'oeuvres and all that stuff. But we still left our guests and it takes a while to take those pictures. And I, it was recommended to me by the photographer that we take our pictures together first before the wedding. But I was deadly against that. I did not want him to see me before the wedding. But now in hindsight, when I look back, I'm like, you know what? I don't think that would have been so bad because... Yeah. You know, time is of the essence and stuff like that. Yeah. And what happens is you start running over into other things that you have on the bill, you know, mm -hmm. and people are getting restless. And, and they were saying, where's the bride? Where, where's exactly. the bride? Where's the bride? Where's so, the girl? Where's exactly. the married couple? And here we are. So, we're you know, gone. Time is very important. How long do you think we were gone? Oh, Lord have mercy. It was that long, Look but here, it was man. still too long. Have right you there. ever seen the credits at the end of the movie of Star Wars? What is that supposed to be? Anyway, we were gone maybe about 45 minutes, no more than an hour, I would say. But no. I think that that was still long, too it long was, to leave our guests. It was long. And you think it was longer than an hour? I know it was longer than an hour. Our wedding lasts two days. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just kind of be mindful and just kind of take in consideration if you would like to take pictures before your wedding with your, yeah. you know, your spouse or your to-be husband yeah. or your to-be wife. Because, <laughs> or if you can take your pictures there on site where your guests are still there somewhere, I think maybe that would have been better if we just would have just took our pictures you know, in the uh, opposite room because we did yeah, have another vacant room another that we room. could have had a backdrop there yeah. and just took pictures there. But we had quite a few people in our wedding and the oh, photographer was saying that that was not going to look right. With I had eight bridesmaids and it was eight groomsmen. So it yeah. was 16 of them plus us would make 18. So our picture was pretty large and he was saying that outdoors would just be the best place to take them. So that's what we roll with, but you know, we having this one year anniversary party and that's just to kind of bring back or kind of relive some of the things that we didn't get a chance to do or some things that didn't go as we planned or accordingly. So we're just going to kind of do that over again, renew our vows and um, just have another beautiful day. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, you know, live life. The way it was intended to be lived, and that's you know happy. You know, is happiness is easy. <laughs> you know, only you can give yourself happiness, and people just add to it. You know, it's like plain cake. You know, anything on that plain cake is just added sweetness. That's all icing is. But plain cake has to suit you just fine. Alrighty, so there we have it, just to give you a few things to think about if you are getting married, things to remember, and we hope that that was helped. Please like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Please drop us a comment below. Drop us some comments below and let us know what you think about our videos. I dare one of y'all to say something crazy about me. Oh gosh. Anyway, we out. I'm T. I'm B. Till next time. <laughs> That's how you get it.